so we're here in the bow yard. It's about five or six degrees out at the moment. It's not raining at the moment, but it has been pretty cold and wet in the last few days. So if we take a look at the boat, we'll see what we're working on today. All of this area on the inside needs the paint scraping off it. It's had quite a lot done on the outside already, um, but it needs to be done on the inside as well. All of the paint needs to be scraped off before the planks can be refastened. Uh, where it's grey, I've just primed the planks just to protect them for the meantime while they've got no paint on them. Okay, so the process of burning off paint requires some heavy duty gloves, a hot air gun, paint scraper, I quite like this paint scraper because it's quite short so uh, you can put quite a lot of force into it and it doesn't bend. It's a 2000 watt hot air gun and I put it on the hottest setting. Just point it at the paintwork, only takes a few seconds really before the paint starts to bubble up. And as soon as it's blistering and bubbling up, then uh, you just use the scraper to remove the paint. You need to be quite patient really. Keep in your mind that you're not scraping off paint you're burning off paint. So let the hot air gun do the work and it will be quicker in the long run. If you don't let the hot air gun do the work and just kind of warm up the paint and then go at it with the scraper, then uh, it just kind of pushes sticky wet paint around everywhere, it doesn't actually take it off. So it's definitely much easier if you use the hot air gun to get the paint bubbling up. And once it's bubbling up, just get rid of it with the scraper. And it's not really a difficult job. It doesn't really take that long, unless you've got an entire boat to do and lots of fastenings and frames to work around. <laughs> It's a bit tight. How's it going? It's a bit tight, isn't it? What are you doing, Ash? Stripping paint. There's about 4% of the inside of this boat stripped, uh, given the size of the hull, which is a big job ahead. Um, but you know, there's, we've got a choice today. We can either strip white paint or red paint. 
So great deal of variety. I'm feeling motivated and that's what matters. We'll get done as much as we can. It's a pretty mundane task, but it's gotta be done. It's almost silver, it's almost metallic, but I tell you what, it doesn't come off. It really doesn't come off. The white paint comes off, but the primer doesn't. But that's so, alright, we don't we don't need to get the primer off. Well it could work in our favour because then we haven't got to re-prime. Or are we re-priming prime anyway? We'll put a barrier primer on. Yeah. But, but I mean if it's not peeling off, yeah. then it's not gonna cause it's not gonna come off, is it? So I just wanted to show you just how much paint is on top of this garbage down here. It's really thick. Right, if I just show you, you'll see what I mean. I don't actually know what these are, so if anybody knows, please let me know. What I do know is they're either made of brass or bronze, so they should clean up real nice. They look like they could be for holding flagstaff or something like that. They're screwed into the beam shelf just over the starboard quarter berth, so it's definitely going to be a good place for me to keep my fishing rod, I think. made an interesting discovery up here. Uh, not only is this beam shelf made out of softwood, some sort of pine, I thought it would be oak, but also this nut here that goes through the deck beam is actually notched into that beam shelf. I'm not even sure how that's come about. Uh, so if anyone's got any ideas on why that is or how that's been installed like that, uh, please, I've got one of them. Please let me know. That's just about it for this time. Thank you for watching. All the support makes a massive difference to the project. If you want to find out a bit more about Andromeda and how you can get involved, follow the link to the website below.